Welcome to 23ABC Sports, I'm Carrie Osep. Another day and another high school cross country meet in the books as Wasco was hosting this second live sports competition in the county for high school sports since the shutdown last March. And this time the Wasco Tigers were hosting the Garces Memorial Rams. Just one day after taking on Bakersfield Christian with usually more rest time, the Wasco Tigers were back at it. And once again, senior Crystal Raya finished in the top spot for the girls, posting a time of 13.35.18. While her teammate Gerardo Limon crossed with a blazing time of 11.33.12 to repeat with the Wasco sweep. For the Rams, though, it was a chance for some young runners to get high school racing under their shoes, with many freshmen taking advantage of their first high school race. While senior Abraham Gonzalez took the second spot for the boys behind Limon. Just as Wasco cross country coach Omar Garcia said after the first meet, the overall win here was getting these kids back out on the course and showing the county sports competitions like cross country can return safely. Longtime Garces coach Susan Walker agrees. The times are obviously the coaches. We can't wait to see what time the kids hit. But the bigger part is for them to be involved, uh, mix it up with some other kids, get to travel, be part of a team effort. A big congratulations to the entire Wasco team for not only returning to competition, but racing back to back times. And also a congrats to Bakersfield Christian and Garces Memorial, as those are now the only three schools racing while other spring sports are beginning training on their campuses. Meanwhile, districts like Kern High and Delano have yet to return sports on their campus. Back down in Bakersfield, the Condors are gearing up for their home opener on Friday. Although it will be like no other with the fanless Mechanics Bank Arena, veteran Condors like Captain Brad Malone are eager to bring hockey back to Bakersfield with that first home game of the season, which will play out at five against the AHL's newest team, the Henderson Silver Knights. The faithful and the uh, community get behind us really well here. It's uh, one of the best environments in the American League for uh, in terms of uh, local support. So it's a good lesson for all of us to just uh, you know be professionals and you know keep going forward here. And since you won't be able to watch the game in person, you can catch the action right here in 23 ABC with that coverage starting at five. To some Major League Baseball news as Trevor Bauer officially becomes a boy in blue as the latest Cy Young winner joins the World Series champion Los Angeles Dodgers. Bauer signed a three year $102 million contract with the Dodgers bringing a reigning Cy Young Award winner to the reigning World Series winners for just the second time in baseball history. Back here in Wasco, I know it looks like I'm the only one left here. It's because I am, but it was still pretty cool to see not only spectators, but coaches and of course the athletes getting back to doing what they love. And now we'll just have to wait and see what those next high school competitions here in the county will be. For 23ABC Sports, I'm Carrie Osep.